Heidi Ho campers. All right, I thought I'd make a quick little uh, video on um, my new cheap barbecue grill. The last one I bought, and I think I made a video on it, uh, was about four years ago. Uh, $100 grill, uh, double burner, I forget the name of it. It still works, but it's really, uh, you know, the burner part's uh, uh, starting to open up holes where they shouldn't be. Anyway, what uh, I've always liked to do is install a uh, thermometer so I get an idea of my cooking temperature. Now, none of these are real 100% accurate or anything like that, but once you get uh, used to uh, what temperature it is that you cook certain things at, you know, what your flame settings are and everything, this should read the same every time you do it, regardless of if it says 350 or 400, you know, if that's the right temperature, this may not be wholly accurate. But, um, again, these cheap $100 grills don't come with uh, thermometers in them. And I don't know why. Uh, you know, I ordered this one, a thousand degree one, from uh, China. I think it cost me $299 or somewhere in there. Now, you can pick them up uh, locally for, you know, a bit more probably about eight to twelve bucks um, but I can wait you know three weeks or whatever to to get uh, uh, something like this in the mail um, in either case uh, I'm going to install this and I thought I'd make a little video of it because this is another hundred dollar grill and uh, show you how how I'm gonna do this it's very simple and uh, you know uh, again uh, doing one like this is not a big deal. Now I've done the big ones before without the, uh, you know, the the uh, temperature probe, and uh, for those I have a hole saw that not a lot of people are going to have a bimetal hole saw to cut through a grill top. So, uh, all right, let me get uh, the camera going here, and uh, I'll reposition it so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to figure out where to put it. And I don't like to put it right in the middle on the top because that's where the heat is going to raise up to. So it's not going to be wholly accurate there. Uh, but you do want it uh, up top closer to the front here. And, uh, you know, roughly in the middle of the grill. If you have one of these cheap ones like, like this, is, it's not a big deal. And basically, you're going to go to the middle, which is... Uh, lining it up with a little push button down there is right about there and it doesn't have to be perfect and you just want to make a dimple there now I have a spring-loaded uh, uh, punch but uh, you can use a nail and a hammer just a regular nail to make your uh, mark and uh, then just uh, you're gonna drill a pilot hole uh, right where you made your mark Just like that, no big deal, and then you want to measure the threads on this and go just uh, one drill size bigger, or a drill, drill size that will clear this. So I've already laid mine out, and I think this is the right one, it should be. Now i got to get fancy with things and use a vernier to measure instead of just <laughs> eyeballing it. Uh, so it would be helpful if the drill would hold on. Alright. So now that we have that, uh, I'm gonna brush a little bit of that crap off of there. Of course it's all gonna go into the grill. You might, if you have a blow gun or anything like that, blow it out, you know, really doesn't matter. This one didn't make a whole lot of mess. So let's see if I measured right. Yep. And by the way, uh, I went for a thousand degree because usually these are 600 degree. And if you constantly, your grill will go over 600 degrees. And the more it goes over 600, 
the more inaccurate this will become because you're you're going to the maximum range. Um, of course, the lower heat uh, thermometer is going to be a little bit more accurate than a higher range. But for me, uh, I constantly, you know, I, I leave the grill on so long and then I, I try to char the meat afterwards after cooking it on some aluminum foil. And I turn the heat up and I, I notice that on my other ones it's always gone over 600. Uh, so I, I got a thousand degree. But that's up to you what you want to do. Now, the installation on something like this is real simple. You got a, you got a wing nut and a washer and basically all you're gonna do let's see are we still in the picture here I guess not okay close enough Just put it in oh, and we got a little bit of metal shaving under there ow 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 okay let me go get a file let me clean that up okay this is a regular old rat tail file don't want to make the hole any bigger than it has to be. And don't want to knock off some of the heavier metal that's in the way. That one. There we go. Alright. That's done. That's done. Alright. No big deal there. So back to our thermometer, thermostat, whatever. Thermometer is a proper word to spin that on there. Make it a little tight. And get up here, turn it to where it's facing you. Boom. Hold on to it. Snug it down good and tight. There we go. And that's it. <laughs> not, uh, not rocket science at all. So I hope that gave somebody a, a little idea of, uh, you know, how to how to convert a really cheap grill. And like I said, uh, you know, for the couple bucks that it costs to to do this uh, for a hundred dollar grill, you know, you don't mind throwing this stuff away when it finally gives out. Because usually, if you try to buy parts for these grills, I looked into a burner for that grill, the, my other one, and just the burner alone was eighty dollars. And I only paid a hundred for the grill. It doesn't make sense, you know. Twenty bucks more, and you buy a new grill. So anyway, all right. Uh, that was my little uh, uh, video for the day, you know. Anyway, be good. Have fun. Have a beer. Cheers.